Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. In this video we're gonna have to analyze the Bitcoin price again because uh, yesterday we had this uh, dump down again towards the main support that we had since a couple of days and weeks already right at $19,500. We're gonna have to look what are my expectations for this weekend and also for the upcoming week. So if you want to trade this volatility, make it over on Bybit. This is the number one trading exchange. And if you are signing up with my link that you find in the video description, you can get $4,400 in trading bonus and zero fees on spot trading. So definitely sign up to Bybit. This is the number one trading exchange. And now my friends, let's dive you straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because yesterday we had this four hour close below the 200 moving average again. And I told you that up here, it's very, very likely that we're coming down to retest the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame. And if it's going to fail to hold us a support, it's very likely that we are coming back down again to where we were trading for the last couple of days and weeks. So Bitcoin is still going sideways and I'm expecting this weekend to have maybe a little bounce to retest the 200 moving average and probably by next week to come back down again and maybe even trade again below $19,500. So the reason why I believe that we could see a bounce maybe today or tomorrow is because of the lower time frames. We are in oversold condition, but with um, positive money flow. So I'm expecting here a nice bounce to potentially test again the 50 level in the RSI over the weekend and test the 200 moving average at $19,800. But I'm pretty confident that we will not see here follow through to the upside. And the first reason is because of the daily time frame which had a daily close yesterday below the median line of the Kelton channels. And it looks like that today we're just coming up to retest the median line at $19,700 or at least in the next coming hours. And the other reason is because of the sell signal that we just had in the daily time frame, together with negative money flow and the RSI dropping below the 50 level. So the daily time frame is suggesting that we are going to see here follow through to the downside to potentially retest the region down here at around 18,000 as $800 to potentially even down here at $18,200 where we have the bottom line of the Keltner channels. And the other reason why we could see follow through to the downside in the next coming week is also because of the US dollar index. Here, as you can see, we have exactly the opposite. We had, again, daily closes back above the median line of the Kasna channels. So here it's very likely that over time we're coming up again to retest the resistance at around $114. And then we're going to see if we're going to create a lower a high compared to this one over here, or if we're able to push higher and higher and continue the bull run of the US dollar index. And the reason why I'm also expecting here continuation to the upside is not only because of the previous daily closes, but also because here we still have an increase in money flow and a confirmed buy signal together with the RSI above the 50 level. So the US dollar index remains now in this uptrend and vice versa in the Bitcoin price, we're gonna remain in this downtrend for the next coming days. So that's why it's very likely that we are going to stay in this trading range here uh, let's say between uh, $18,400 and uh, $20,500 for the next coming days. At least this is my expectation. And if we have a look into the weekly time frame, here you can see that in theory, we are still in oversold condition and the RSI is still below this resistance here. So we still don't see here a breakout to the upside in the RSI as long as we are still in this falling wedge. There is still a high chance that we could get rejected here and come back down but sooner or later i'm expecting here a breakout to the upside and that of course will signal the next uh, rally in my opinion even up towards thirty thousand dollars so towards this resistance trend line of this falling broadening wedge that we are forming and uh, also where we have the top of the calvin channels in the weekly time frame and vice versa the user index is still in very overbought condition together with several drives of bearish divergences so here i'm expecting sooner or later to have a potential local top and come back down to test important support levels but therefore we need a break of structure so we need a daily close below the support here at 108 dollars right at the support trend line and at the bottom of the Kelton's channels which so far never got broken during this whole uptrend so as long as the US dollar index is in this huge uptrend here i'm expecting the crypto stock market to correct more or, or at least go sideways until we're gonna see a big trend reversal which in my opinion right now we're not seeing it we had here the chance to see a big trend reversal but it failed so that's why i think that most likely here we're gonna go sideways or lower for the next coming days and weeks 
and until we're not breaking important resistance levels here in the Bitcoin price and of course also over on, on NASDAQ because also here we dumped quite heavily yesterday, not below the bottom of the Kelton channels, but at least we are coming back down to the lows here at around $11,000. And also the weekly time frame had, had a bearish close below the 200 weekly moving average. And we ended up in a huge week to the upside in the weekly time frame. But here also we are very oversold. So potential uh, rally is in the cards, but expect continuation to the downside in the next coming days. Probably in the next one or two weeks, we most likely are going sideways or lower before um we're gonna see a big trend reversal which in my opinion is still upcoming the question is only when it will start and the same thing goes also for ethereum here we're still getting rejected by the mini line of the Kelton channels watch out here for 1240 dollars that should be the main support for ethereum for the next coming days and weeks if you're coming down towards this price level we shouldn't drop below otherwise also here i'm expecting a big continuation to the downside because currently the low is down here at around $900, but if we would close again weekly candles below $1,000 or so below the bottom of the Kelton channels, I'm afraid that Ethereum could go to way, way lower levels than the $900 low that we had so far. And uh, here the support trend line is currently at $450, so extremely bearish here for Ethereum. I don't expect that, but just that you have that um, in your radar because this is the price target. If we would lose important support levels like the $1,000 area. And uh, before we're going to wrap it up, my friends, Ethereum W, uh, currently it is coming very close to the $7 level. And I still expect that here we could have a nice uh, buy opportunity, but only if the crypto market is going to uh, start to pump here. I don't expect that Ethereum W will do anything different than the rest of the crypto market, but I'm watching this coin very, very closely because if somehow we're gonna see in the next coming days and weeks a big trend reversal, then I think that this coin has a lot of upside potential and that's why I'm currently mining and also buying a bit of this coin. This is purely speculation because I am um, mostly into Bitcoin and a little bit also into Ethereum, but after the hard fork, I am watching also this coin um, because I am still mining it and that's why I'm going to cover in this channel also a bit this coin as long as we have huge volatility here and as long as also the community is growing of this hard fork coin all right my friends with that said i'm going to wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos watch all the bybit tutorials that i did about all its features because here you can not only trade here you can also directly buy and of course also get some passive income thanks to the bybit earn feature so definitely check them out and feel free to subscribe also to the other social media platforms that i have you find them all in the video description also to our partner youtube channels they're all linked in the video description so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're going to see us all in the next one bye